Thank you. All right, show's over. Everybody get out. <laughs> no, not you. I'm just kidding. So you guys want to uh, you want to chat with Sabrina a little bit here? Yeah. 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 Um, the one question I, I've already kind of cleared everything with your dad. Oh. I just wanted to make sure. That's scary. I know. What did you What did you clear? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to make sure that there was not. You know, what can I talk about? What can I talk about? Oh, I'm, I'm. He said pretty much anything. Pretty open book, yeah. 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 <laughs> So Except for all the things that I won't tell you. Well, yeah, there's that. <laughs> right. Right, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk about anything but what I'm not going to talk about. Yeah. Something I saw online that I did want to ask you about. Yes. Because you, uh, you, you had a little, I know you were at our iHeartRadio Music Festival. Yeah. You, you, you shared a hug with Shawn Mendes. He's a, <laughs> he's a great hugger. He, is he? Okay. <laughs> I haven't hugged him yet, so... You're missing out. Well, I will let you know when I get to hug him. Cool. So now the internet wants you and Shawn Mendes to, like, be a thing. He's such a good hugger. Okay. <laughs> you were right. It's kind of what your dad said. He's like, he's kind of kind of blowing up. And I don't, I don't blame him. So I know it, it's kind of funny that you, uh... And don't, don't feel bad, because nobody gets Albany right. But I, I had so much faith in myself, and then I messed it up. Nobody. If you're not from here, A-L is Al. I so guess. It's, it's Albany. So then what do you call someone named Al? Al. Al. <laughs> See how that can be confusing, though? Right, so, exactly. so they should have spelled it A-L-L. Yeah. B-A-N-Y. Exactly. So whoever named it, that screwed up. <laughs> A long, long time ago. <laughs> so and, and Albany's not even the tough one. So what I did was I printed out a list of stuff from the area. Okay. They're towns. <laughs> Oh. Okay. <laughs> what's cool. the, what's the first one? Schenectady. Yes. Oh, snap. Okay. How about the second one? Niskayuna. Woo! That was right. Yeah, Nis Niskayuna. Yep. Coimans. 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 Yep. Okay. Same thing. Good luck with this one. Scotia. Oh. That's not hard. It's like Nova Scotia. Well, but a lot of people say Scotia. Oh, really? Yeah. But there's an SC. Why would you just drop the C? I have no idea. Oh, okay. Clifton Park. Whoop! That one was Well, hard. no, I had to make sure that there was one really okay. easy one. that one. I knew? Yes. Oh, this one. It's right across the... Oh. It's right across the river, too. Re Rensselaer? Rensselaer. Rensselaer. Ren is it Rensselaer or is it Rensselaer? Does anybody really know? Rensselaer. Okay, so you don't know that I get a pass. <laughs> That's so funny. What? No. Water Valley? Water Valley. Water Valley. Okay. Colony. Yes. Oh, this is a good one. This one's really good. It's a town that starts with a V around here. Oh. oh tell her. Oh. Boyersville. Yes. Yes. That's right. That one actually kind of spells itself. I'm not going to lie. Latham? Latham. Latham. Okay. That's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> funny. It's the last one on the list. Coxsackie. <laughs> close. Very close. Cooksackie. Okay, you forgot that. Cooksackie. Cooksackie? Yes. Why don't they spell it C-O-O-K in the Sockie? I don't know. Like S-A-K-E? Like the... See, like that can be really misleading. I know. When I talk to your dad, he's like, she's probably not going to read that last one. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, How many did I surprisingly you, get? You got almost all of them right. Okay. Latham is, uh, is actually pretty common for people that don't know it. Right. Because it's L-A-T-H, so why wouldn't you say Lath? Queemans, that was really good. Miski Yuna. You passed the test. Okay. You got a 95. Thank you. You got Clifton Park right. That was the hard one. Yeah, I know. I know. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, I know people from the area that get most of these wrong. <laughs> Me included. <laughs> I actually spelled water bleed wrong. You did? Yeah, it's actually V L I E T. V what is it? V L I E T. Oh, I would have totally gotten it if you spelled it like that. <laughs> you got it though, didn't you? No, I didn't get that one. Oh, what did you say? Water bleed? Water bleed. Uh, water bleed. <laughs> That's when we got to try to class it up and call it water bleed. Water bleed. Yeah. <laughs> I actually have some uh, questions. They're being at kiss1023.com, and your fans are like. Too not, good. Okay, listen. Not these guys. But no, you have but the some other guys are awesome. Yeah. 
Yeah, your other fans that aren't here are luckily, amazing. Luckily, my fans understand, hopefully, my sense of humor, so yeah, even if I say something like that, they know I'm totally kidding. All right, cool. I mean, because you guys are all pretty cool. I'm sure that girl that told me to shut up or whatever. <laughs> oh, snap. How yeah. old are you? No. <laughs> you threw her off. Okay, again. that was cute, though. How old are you? Eight. You're eight? How do you even know what shut up means at eight? She, she, technically, she technically didn't say shut up. My she mom actually, like, I wasn't allowed to say shut up at eight. Really? Actually, when I was eight years old, like, I was still sticking my tongue out at my sisters, and that was, like, a big no-no in our family. <laughs> she didn't, she technically didn't tell me to shut up. It was more like, we didn't come here for you. We came here for Sabrina Carpenter. <laughs> I came for you. Thank you. No problem. I appreciate that. Aww. My daughters came for you. <laughs> That's exciting. <laughs> I could walk home. So my microphone died, so I'm just gonna talk. <laughs> <laughs> you have any more batteries? Let me know when we're back. Well, I I get it. So this is this is pretty cool. I get to share the microphone with Sabrina Carpenter. <laughs> they, Oh, let me get her. Right. Sorry. <laughs> 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 uh, I can't tell me that they're not even here for me. I brought them. I should have left them home. Oh, no. no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> they can't stay home by themselves. They're too young. I'm a babysitter. I can. I'm a babysitter. Oh, not in real life. <laughs> <laughs> so what we... <laughs> So I want to use my phone anymore? Okay. Can I talk to her? Can I talk to her now? Okay, thanks. We're gonna spend the whole weekend with you. So we did a thing at Kiss1023.com where we let your fans submit questions. Okay. Yeah. Want this one? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just gonna stand over here. I actually I think I'm gonna go. Again. Oh, okay. <laughs> Am I gonna get some crazy feedback if I walk in front of everything right now? Okay, so just plug your ears. Hold on. Just walk slowly. Plug it again. So I'm sitting next to Sabrina Carpenter, and you're not. <laughs> okay, so I mean, we have a stack. Well, we have a stack of papers. If I were to ask you every question that was submitted, we'd be here till like next Thursday. Yay! Okay. So yeah. where, where you got to do tomorrow? We got time. Yeah. All right. I mean, I got a plane, but it's fine. No, we'll do it. No, we're not no, gonna. Do it. We no, I, do? Pick, I picked out a couple. Okay. 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 <laughs> so, but I mean, we did get questions, and this this is what I loved was uh, I mean, we did get questions from the capital region, which was awesome. So uh, I'm gonna try to ask those a couple of them. But there was questions from Israel, wow. Istanbul. Turkey, I think that's the, is that the same thing? Anyway, <laughs> Lithuania, Latvia, um, Brazil. Poland, Brazil, a lot of Brazil. Apparently you're big in Brazil. I love Brazil. That's nice. Every place is his name, but yeah, Brazil, they're amazing. Uh, the Czech Republic, I mean, they were coming in from like, oh, Hong Kong. Did you get any from Albany? Yeah, I got one right here. Oh. Is Lauren here from Albany? Did, is Lauren here from Albany that submitted a question online? What? Did you ask a question at this one on T3.com? Hi. Hi. Okay. So let, let me know if this is your question, okay? Okay. I'll, let me read it, and that way you'll know. Uh, what's your advice for people who get made fun of for a disability? Um, is that your question? Yeah. You have more to worry about their sense of character than what you're dealing with. I think that's the most important thing that I've learned is like, you know, the fact that you are who you are and you're, you're getting through everything with a sense of confidence and you still love with the heart that you have is way more important. Don't worry about those people. They are irrelevant, as the kids say. And um, yeah, just keep going on. Do you and just, just love with all of your heart. How's that? Thank you. How about, uh, is Michaela from Mechanic Miller? There she is. Did you, su did, did, did you submit a question on there? Okay. She would like to know if you could collaborate with any artist that has uh, passed away, who would it be? That's a good question. 
Do you have one? No. That's very hard. Oh my goodness. What? You're whispering things. Jesus, I know. Zach Efron. <laughs> Zach Efron's alive. He's very alive and well, actually. Zac Efron. I'm pretty sure well, we're not gonna start that rumor. Okay, um, no, I mean, obviously, there were so many. Yeah, I was gonna say we lost so many. I mean, David Bowie, we lost uh, so many legends. Um, Christina Grimmie. I mean, Christina Grimmie. Yeah, they said that. They beat you to it. But he is a, he's a king. You're so. a little late to the party, Dave. <laughs> Um, I'm also a very big fan of Etta James, who, you guys don't know who that is? Okay, let's pick another one. I love Etta James, though. Okay, um, I would say Michael Jackson, for sure. I mean, what? Yeah, that's true. I do love the doors. Um, there's a lot, honestly. Yeah, I think also Prince would be really cool. Whitney? I could never, next to Queen Whitney, I could never. <laughs> I could have. What? No, yeah. I'm like a small little like royal peasant. <laughs> oh, thank you. Not quite. <laughs> so Michael Jackson, Prince, Jim Morrison. Who's phone is on? John Lennon. John Lennon. That's my phone. Why put it on vibrate, would you please? <laughs> I'm interrupting the show. What? John Lennon. John Lennon. That's a good choice. All right, Abby from New York, I'm assuming she's not here because nobody came from the city, did they? No. She would like to know where you think you would be right now if you never got into music or acting. Good question. Thanks, Abby. I'd be a senior in high school, probably figuring out what she wants to major in in college, which I kind of still am doing, just plus the singing and acting. But just take that away and I'd probably, I'd probably honestly be working at like Pinkberry. <laughs> where? Pinkberry? Yeah, what's that? Oh, guys, sorry. Okay, what do you have in Albany? We have one. Nothing. Nothing. What, nothing. Well, what's Pinkberry? I'll tell you what we have. Frozen yogurt. Frozen yogurt. Oh, so like oh, a yeah. soup frog or... Oh, yeah. Tasty candles. Tasty candles. Tasty candles. I would probably be working at somewhere that sells frozen yogurt, just because I know how to do that. You know how to pull the lever? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> It's a good thing singing worked out. You know the thing that... <laughs> you know like how the, the, there's some stores that do it for you? Yeah. Like some are self-serve and some do it for... I do yes. it for you. Oh, that's cool. I got two more, is that cool? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. We have a long list. Yeah, I'm not gonna read all of those. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. I, don't wanna... I get it. <laughs> I think you might be hungry too. The four hour drive from Philly is a little bit... Anyway, I totally lost my train of thought, too. It's a good thing the I got question. Question. questions. Questions, yeah. right, okay. Tina from Orlando wants to know, would you rather sing naked or get booed off stage? Oh. Oh. Well, let me think. Again, I didn't come up with that question. Okay, T so let's, let's weigh out our options. So, get booed off stage or sing naked? Um, I have to imagine like one is super liberating and then one is super like sad. So I don't know, that's really hard. Which is which? <laughs> I think getting booed off stage would kind of be really, really sad, but I don't know, I can't answer that question. That's true. I guess this, this is all true. Weird question though. Okay. Right, but creative, creative, but I just, I don't know the answer Which to this question. I feel like either way, I'm kind of in a weird situation. 